What up YouTube? Jordan Lance, Red Out Racing, back for another video today. And today we're going to install rear tension arms on the red eye. Alright guys, so today we are installing the Speedlogic's rear tension arms, as you can see here, one on each side in the rear. Um, so the reason we're doing that is they will, according to Speedlogic's um, and some of the customer reviews I've read, they will help us launch harder, which of course we want that. Um, and number two will help with wheel hop, um, that's a big one. and. Number three will help just keep the rear end sturdy if we're going over any uneven roads or anything. They can take much more of a beating, so um, very solid part. The stock one has a little movement up here. There's a little bushing up here. This one has no movement at all, so um, very solid. It's a well-built piece. You can feel the weight. Um, very nice, so um, I am getting a little wheel hop in my car. It was great, greatly reduced when we threw the rear diff brace on, so that that's good. Um, but we want it to go away completely, obviously, so um, we're going to throw these on and test them out. So let's go. All right, guys. Got the car jacked up on the ramps. Well, not jacked up. We're on the ramps in the back. Um, if we need to relieve some pressure to get them to line back up, we got the jack out here to relieve a little pressure off of the wheels. So um, let's hop under there and get to work. All right, so we're gonna start with the left one. As you can see, this piece right here has to come out. So I think they're 18 mil bolts. Remove from here and here. And pop the new one in. So. The key to this install is number one, you gotta have a wrench for the nut that's on the back side of the 18 mils. Uh, if you just try to use the ratchet and loosen it, it will just spin around. So you gotta have a, a wrench on the back side to hold the nut into place. Uh, number two, you should have some grease or some soap. I actually just spit on the new tension arms <laughs> to get them in there because they are very tight to get and it's metal on metal so you can't really slide it in. You gotta have some sort of oil or soap or something to get them in there. So I would recommend bringing a little bit of oil or just spit on the things if you want to get them in there. Um, yeah, but that made it much easier once we got those in there. And then the torque specs on the arms are 85 so you're going to want to make sure you bring your torque wrench um, and use that with the wrench on the back side of the nut and make sure you torque them up to 85 because these are pieces you definitely don't want coming loose so let's finish the video Right, guys we got the old one off here it is definitely a little bit lighter then as you can see there's this bushing in here that allows for movement right there compared to our new one right here a little beefier as you can see and we do not have any movement up here so it'll be much sturdier and now we're gonna throw the new one on
right guys we are all done we got brand new tension arms installed see the speed logics logo right there nice and beautiful factory bolts went right back in Inside. Right there. easy peasy now let's go test them out all right guys didn't get a chance to test them out because I actually don't have seat belts in my red eye right now. I got harnesses coming in the next few days because we just ripped the stock seats out and put racing seats in, which was the last video. So um, yeah, that's all I got for you today. We'll do the testing in future videos, but Jordan Lance, Red Eye Racing, if you like what you saw, hit that like button, smash the subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.